do you serve the God King scum? So, you are a cell sword. The sallow man will want to speak with you to tell you how to serve. Take this. He hands you a mirror of the blackest glass. The glass is black at first, but then a sickly haze begins to form like sand upon a pond. The haze shimmers and becomes a face. A one-faced man, perhaps, looking straight at you. The sallow man. You feel his hate, his avarice, his thirst for blood. God-woken blood. He does not speak, and yet he asks you who you are. You know the wrong answer will send him into a ferocious rage. His eyes burn into yours. You feel the hot flood of his hate, his rage, his madness. And you know the Black Ring are now sworn to see you dead. The mirror fades to black. Forktongue's lips curl into a smile. I see that you know, that I know, that you know, that Sallow wants you dead.
Hold up. Shriekers. We'll need a purging one to defeat them. yourself the elf's deep golden eyes go wide a strange smile dances across his mouth and he starts to roar with laughter the gods chose you as their champion some tired old mercenary run home little god woken you find only death here <laughs> we have all swatted flies that is not what lies ahead of you you are not worthy of this temple. Leave. Run back to your hearth. Cower there while death searches for you. The laughter dies from the elf's eyes, replaced with weary seriousness. Good. It is proper that the Godwoken should not be so easily pushed away. Too many are not ready for the trials ahead. You may proceed. You find no threat here. Not from me, at least. The island is not overrun. This temple stands strong. The other gods were clearly not as powerful as Terse and Delius. In his fortress, the Black Ring do not succeed. They do not kill the Godwoken, but... But they do not fail. Now, knights and Godwoken both cower behind monsters tied to sticks. The elf raises a bushy eyebrow. One demands from one's lessers. I am your equal, Godwoken. Once, I stand where you stand. My gods chosen, fighting to be the divine. The trials do not kill me, but neither do I triumph. Another becomes divine, and I remain here to serve Terse and Delius and protect his chosen. It is not the place of a knight to reveal such things. We walked your path once. You must discover it yourself, as we did. Turn to the gods. Their guidance alone will lead you. May Ralic ever watch over you. A flat circle of polished black obsidian. The mirror is pretty, but now it's a mirror, and... The bear gives you a serious look. She opens her mouth wide, her great fangs on display for you. Then she clears her throat. Can I ask you a philosophical question? Okay, then. <laughs> If a tree falls in a forest, and the whole place is covered in death fog, does anyone care? Please, sister, we're safe now. Almighty. 
Regina, hear my prayer. Save your children. I escaped. Thousands didn't. They barely had the time to scream. She gives you a long, wet-eyed look. Her lip begins to tremble, which on a bear is an impressive sight. She tries not to cry. I thought no one cared. I thought no one cared but elves and bears. This gives me hope, this does. Lots of hope. Oh, thank you. With a sigh, she turns away. Have you been to the temple of Zolstissa? Is the King's Knight safe? Is Zor Stissa's chosen champion safe? Good news, at least for now. I thank you for your kindness. Shall we pray together? He lowers his head, closes his eyes, and silently begins to pray. Please, sister, with safe mind. This is incredible. What a structure. There might be nothing the elf like prays this. hard, his eyes tight shut. Soon, Tyrus and Delius will give us the power to smash the ring and all our enemies. Alexander does not rise. You fool yourself to think otherwise. He closes his eyes once more and returns to his prayers. God working. The mother tree calls you. Follow the spirit. Climb to the heart of the tree. The mother awaits. what else it could be. I am the scion of the mother tree. Her heart speaks through me. The mother gave you a gift through Sahila. She gave of her power, and now she is ailing. Now you must come to her aid. The mother asks you to help her. A lizard assassin stands near. A prince of shadows, come to strike at the heart of the elves. He must die, this lizard is doombringer, and you must bring me his heart. The shadow prince is on this island, seeking our annihilation. He is the master of the house of shadows. He is a terror that breathes. Please, cut off its breath, then bring me its heart. He is a lizard. No doubt he slithers close to the temple of his fork-tongued goddess, Zol Stissa. Be at ease, Magister Rome. Weapons down. Gareth, I have done you a grave injustice. I was deceived, and I was too weak, too naive to see it. Alexander holds his hands outwards towards Gareth, his blade resting flat across his palms. 
a gesture of goodwill and peace. Godwoken, have you come to witness the death of the noble coward? How fortunate. You can tell the tale of Lucian's other wayward son. Amusing you should defend this slug's life on the basis of his ignorance. Have you seen the terror this man has wrought? Have you forgotten of the purgatory he threw you into? Have you forgotten what he has taken from me? My friends, my parents, my life, a life dedicated to service at his father's side. I've forgotten nothing. Alexander, you are the sinner, yet the gods have allowed us to suffer for it. I would kill you a hundred times over if given the chance. Gareth looks to you, then to Alexander. He digs his teeth into his lower lip until blood seeps out from the tender skin. The silence is thick, yet neither Gareth nor Alexander move. You are not Damien. You are not Damien. Damien. My sins have been as great as yours, Alexander. I've just been too blind to see them. It's just... your father. You could forgive Alexander when I could not, Godwoken. I hope you show me the same kindness. I will meet you aboard the Lady Vengeance when you are ready. Ifan, Ifan ben Mezd, my killer. Alexander smiles at you, a familiar smile from when he was but a boy in his father Lucian's arms. For a moment your lips twitch automatically in return, until you remember all that led to this moment. I do hope you are not here to try to kill me again. I think we need to talk. The same reason my father and I did everything. To protect the realm, as that is what the Divine is for. What price all of Rivalon against just one portion? Any Divine would do the same, if it meant saving everything. You should be proud my father picked you, his best right-hand man. He knew you would make it, but he also knew that if he told you the truth, you would falter. He knew you well. If I... He looks at you slyly. Alexander was always easy to read, and right now his face is an open book. He's clearly remembering the conversation in which your fate was chosen. You realize he's telling the truth. It was what had to be done. No two ways about it. I'm sorry you feel that way, Ifan. You weren't raised by my father. If you were, you would understand. The life of some is nothing compared to the lives of all. Here is the truth, Ifan. I'm Lucian's son, and I will take any actions necessary for the good of all. Nothing can stop me becoming the next divine. I was born for this duty. As long as he lived, my father groomed me to take his place, to speak for the gods. And make no mistake, Divinity is a duty, not a reward. Others may be able to claim the mantle, but only I can shoulder the burden, the responsibility. She had her accomplice, Vriedemann, pose as someone who could train me how to master my god-woken powers. But it was a lie. They sought to hinder, not help. While I was being occupied by Vriedemann, Dallas began taking over the order. I confronted them once I returned from the Hall of Echoes, and the pair of them tried to kill me. They must be Black Ring agents, tasked with preventing me from ascending. They won't succeed, though. I know what needs to be done, and I have good, loyal Magister and Paladin companions to help me see that it is done. Wrong! That proves I am the only one who is worthy! I have to decide who lives and who dies, for the sake of the greater good. That is what true power demands of you. Only I have the will, the strength to do what is necessary. And now that those traitors, Dallas and Friedemann, have no influence over me, the way forward is clear. Not fit. I have given my life to the Order. 
I will take the sacred duty of divinity with the seriousness it deserves. I will not take disparagement from a turncoat assassin like you. Make no mistake, Godwoken. I do not need to work with you. I will enter the council when I am fit and ready. But you are desperate. That much is clear. Make yourself of use to me, and I shall help you unlock the council. You must strike down the one who leads the Black Ring on this island. That is my prize.
The spirit of Alexander looks bitterly dejected. He turns to you. If I'm banished, I take it that your contract is fulfilled. But what kind of divine would you be? I have to know your intentions before I help you. What do you mean to do with the power of divinity if you succeed? I suppose you paid your dues long, long ago. You. You will do, if I know. Ranik, Vrogir, and Zolstissa favored the sun, while Duna, Tyr Sindilius, Xantetsa, and Amadia favored the moon. Align their idols thusly at the entrance to the council. Then there's the lever. It requires a great power source. I had one. Perhaps it's still with my remains. Otherwise, you must scour the idol. Farewell, Ben Nest. I hope you don't disappoint. Eyes closed, the tiger seems to be praying. Her nose twitches as she senses your presence. I smell the fog on you, dog man. The fog of death. You were there when all my kind were killed. It is your fault. She grins, revealing sharply pointed teeth. She raises a paw and extends her claws one at a time. One, two, Three, four, five. Little wolves should know better than to follow corrupted alphas. And who is it that you follow now? So you do not learn from your mistakes. A pity. She eyes you with sharp consideration for a moment, then pounces for you, claws flashing in the light.
The ghostly tiger bares her teeth at you, a triumphant glint in her eye. When the God King brings the forest tigers back and we rise to rule, you shall be the first to die, Dogman. After we've finished playing with you, perhaps we shall hunt you in the forest before you die. For you, there shall be no return. I am the last of my hide, my stripe, my streak. You cannot take me, for I shall rise. You cannot take me, for I shall... She shall... nothing. <laughs>